CSEC Mass Paper 1 2009 Solutions. We have the first question here negative 3 squared plus negative 2 squared. So the square affects everything. So this gives us 9 plus 4, which will give us 13. Then the next question is we are writing this in scientific notation. Scientific notation means you write a number such that such that the first non-zero number is that number is less than or equal to one, but it's less than that number is greater than or equal to one, but it's less than ten. It's less than ten. So that is scientific notation. So to do that is how we go about it. So we know this can be written as 4.5 times 10 to the power 2 because we move this forward 2 times, then times this. Now we use our loss of exponents or indices to simplify this. So this minus this will give us negative 1. So we get 4.5 times 10 to the power negative 1. What percentage of 30 is 6? So we don't know that percentage, so let it be x. So x percent of 30 is equal to 6. x percent of 30 is equal to 6. Then we can rewrite this as x over 100 times 30 is equal to 6. We simplify this to obtain 3x is over 10 is equal to 6. Then we simplify further to obtain 3x equal to 60. Then we find x to be 20. We want to simplify this 11.1 divided by 0 0.01 so one way to do is to write all of them as a fraction with a common denominator so we have this is over 100 divided by this over 100 then what do we do we multiply by the reciprocal of this to obtain this we cancel out to obtain this so the answer is D. If five sixty dollars is shared in the ratio two is to three is to nine. Then the difference between the largest and the smallest share is. So calculate the largest share is going to be the largest ratio over the total ratio times the amount being shared. And this will give us 9 times 40 dollars. recording, recording. And this will simplify to three hundred sixty dollars. So the smallest share will also be two times forty dollars, and that will give us eighty dollars. Now the difference will be, will be the difference will be three sixty dollars minus eighty dollars, which will give us two hundred eighty dollars. So that will be C. Then, if 60% of a number is 90, what is the number? We don't know that number, so let the number be x. So 60% of x is equal to 90. So we can simplify this as this 60 over 100 times x equal to 90. We multiply through by 100 to obtain this. Then divide through by 60. Then we have our x to be equal to 150. 
which is over here. What is the value of the digit 2 in the number 48.621? So we know 48.621 can be written as in a expanded form. 4 times 10 to the power 1 plus 8 times 10 to the power 0 plus 6 times 10 to the power negative 1 2 times 10 to the power negative 2 plus 1 times 10 to the power negative 3. Then we can rewrite them as fraction of this. So the value of 4 is 40 then 8 therefore the value of 2 is 2 of 100 which is A now if 3n is an odd number then if we subtract 1 or we add 1 it becomes even so we have an odd number 3. If it's add 1, it becomes 4. Which is even. Then, an odd number 3. If we subtract 1, it becomes even. Which will give us 2. So, you either subtract or add 1. Then, you get an even number if the number is odd. Then, what is the least number of plums that? What is the least number of plums that can be shared equally among six, nine, or twelve children? So we're just asking for the least common multiple, so that will give us what is the least number of plums that can be shared equally among six. 9 or uh, 12 children. So we know how to find for LCM. So we can write this as prime product. Then the LCM will be 36. Find the LCM to be 36. So 36 plums is the least number of plums that can be shared among 6, 9, or 12 children. Now, we have in the Venn diagram, the shaded area represents what? So, this is the whole of Q and the whole of P prime is this region. So, you see that they intersect over here. Intersect over here. Then the We have Q to be the whole of this region. Okay, so we have Q to be the whole of this region. Then we have P prime to be the whole of this region over here. So P prime union Q prime. Q Q union P prime will give us this region. So Q union P prime, Q union P prime will be all this region. So the answer is C. Now which of the following set is equivalent to A, B, C, D? If two sets are equivalent, then they have the same number of elements. So we look for a set which is also having four elements. So we have one, two, three, four. So this is the only set that is equivalent to A, B, C, D. Now we have this relation that 
is for two sets. Now we have in the Venn diagram number of P is got five, number of Q is got nine, and number of P union Q is got ten. What is the number of P intersection Q? So we just substitute into this relation to obtain this. Simplify to get the intersection to be equal to four. Now in the Venn diagram, we have P is got factors of six and Q is got factors of four. So the shaded region is P intersection Q and P intersection Q is one, two. So the correct answer is B. Now the simple interest on $400 at 5 pesos per annum for 2 years is now the simple interest formula is given by this so we substitute the values and we get this as the answer so it is 400 times 5 times 2 all of 100 if P switch cost Q cents then the cost of one suit is so one suit is will be equal to the total cost divided by the total quantity so that will be q divided by p cents so that will give us the d now during during a sale a shop allows 20% discount of the marked price of clothing. What will a customer pay for a dress with a marked price of $30? $30, okay. So this is the discount which is 6, 20% of the marked price. The marked price is 30, 20% of it will give us $6. Then the the person will pay the customer will pay thirty dollars less six so that will give us twenty four twenty four or we can also calculate it like this eighty percent you, you pay eighty percent of the mark price which is eighty percent of thirty and that will give us twenty four now eighteen Tom bought a pen for Sixty dollars and sold it to gain twenty percent on his cost price. How much money did he gain? So the cost price is sixty, then the gain is twenty over hundred times sixty dollars, and that will give us twelve dollars. So he gained twelve dollars. Susan bought a calculator for one twenty dollars. She had to pay a sale tax of 10% on the price. How much change would she receive from $140? So the cost price is $120 and the tax she has to, she has to pay is 10% which will give us 12 Now, The total payment will be equal to $132. So if she has $140, then she will get a change of $8. So the answer is A. The Mary invested $200 for 3 years at 5% rate per annum. John invested $300 at the same rate if they both receive the same amount of money in interest. For how many years did John invest his money? So the interest will be calculated this way. Mary's interest is this. For John's interest, we don't know the time, so we keep it. Now, they are saying that if they both receive the same amount of money in interest, meaning their interests are equal. So we solve for T. 
to get t is equal to two years. A company employs twelve gardeners at twenty six dollars per day and eight clerks at seventeen dollars per day. What is the mean daily what is the mean daily weight in dollars of the 20 employees? So we need to find their total, the total sum of money and divide by the total number of people. So 26 per day times 12 plus 17 per day times 8. Then the total number of people is 12 plus 8 and that will give us 20. So the total or the mean, the mean daily wage will be twenty two point four zero dollars. If the simple interest on eight hundred dollars for three years is fifty four, what is the rate of interest per annum? Then we simplify to get 54 is equal to 24 R. Then we get our rate to be equal to 2 1 number 1 over 4 percent. Then this is very simple to do. We just expand the bracket to get negative 2x plus 8. Then this one, the square affects everything in the bracket. So we get 8 squared. A squared which will give us 64 a squared now we have this we just have to sub in so 2 triangle negative 3 will give us 2 times 2 then minus 3 times B the B is negative 3 and this will give us 4 that's 9 which is 13 you can watch out for the continuation but I urge you to subscribe to my channel so that if I upload, you'll be notified.